Yo, what is everybody? I'm Artic. Today, we're going to be doing a deep dive of the newest trailer that just came out for Killer Clowns from Outer Space, the game. We're going to be taking a look at all the clowns and humans' abilities that were shown off in this trailer. Also, some new gameplay details you may have missed. So be sure to subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss anything on Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Let's get it. <laughs> All right, first off, Killer Clowns is a 3v7 asymmetrical horror game. You can take the role of a clown in a team of three to hunt down humans and win by capturing most or all of the humans. Or you can take a role as a human in a team of seven and win by either deactivating the clown's spaceship, escaping the map before the time runs out, or by keeping the majority of the people in a town alive for the entire round. Now there's five classes for both the clowns and the humans to choose from each with unique special abilities and attributes. And in this trailer, we get gameplay details of three of the five clowns, and that's Shorty, Jumbo, and Spikey. Shorty is the fighter class, Jumbo is the scout class, and Spikey is the tracker class. And next, we get a short little montage of each of the three clowns using their unique weapons. We got Shorty here being the fighter class he is. He's the strongest of the group and can kill you in one punch. We also see the teenager class here with a baseball bat trying to fight Shorty, but this is a bad idea because the teenager class is not made for fighting. They actually have very low health, and so that's probably why he died in one hit. Next, we got Spikey using his popcorn shotgun. Now, this shotgun does do damage, but just not a lot. The main purpose of this popcorn shotgun is to get small popcorn bits onto the humans and then you will be able to reveal the humans to the rest of the clowns and also able to track them that way. Alright, next up, in this background, you can actually see a clown AI. And this clown AI is called a lackey. And so you cannot play as these lackeys. But what they do is that they randomly spawn somewhere in the map and they basically hunt down the humans. These lackeys are attracted to noise. So any humans that are making noise, these lackeys will go over there and investigate the noise. And if they find a human, these lackeys will jump onto the human's back and notify the players that are playing as the clowns. And if the clowns get to you in time, they'll use the cotton candy ray gun and turns you into a cotton candy cocoon and then you're pretty much dead so don't make too much noise as a human or these lackeys will find you next up we have a clip of the clowns using the cotton candy ray gun and turning a human into a cotton candy cocoon and so every clown has their own cotton candy ray gun so watch out for every clown because they can all turn you into a cotton candy cocoon oh yeah one more thing about those lackeys is that after a human gets turned into a cotton candy those lackeys can actually carry the cotton candy and bring them to the spaceship and be careful because the more cotton candies they gather the more lackeys will spawn in the map that's that's right, there can be more than one lackeys on a map, baby. Next up, it looks like we have a human trying to escape a map, and it looks like he's trying to escape by using the boat. Right off the bat, this gives me Friday the 13th vibes. I don't know, but it seems like you will have to do something to get rid of that pink powder cloud. That cloud could be like a trap from one of the clowns, and you have to do something to get rid of it so you're able to escape. And right here, we have Spikey, aka the tracker, and he's using one of his abilities, which brings out the balloon dog. And what the balloon dog does is straightforward. If he picks up a human's track, he'll track you down. But not only that, while Spikey is holding his balloon dog he actually cannot take damage which is kind of crazy next up we have a montage here of two human class the cop and the punk and as you can see the punk is sprinting for his life away from jumbo and actually the punk class is the best for stamina so if anyone's getting away from the clowns it will be the punk class we have jumbo here using one of his ability called hypnotic lure and it looks like he can just lure anyone in and then get a free whack on them this right here we got a pizza box running around and i believe this is actually shorty the clown because he can transform himself into a pizza box and then pop out at any time so if you ever see a pizza box sprinting at you, get the hell out of there, you know what I'm saying? And also we got Shorty here doing some sort of fatality, which is kind of cool. <laughs> And we have a clip of one of the other human class, the cop, and their class makes it so that they're obviously good with guns. And it looks like this cop actually killed Jumbo. I actually don't know what happens if a clown dies. But yeah, it's cool to know you can kill the clowns. And then we got Shorty here doing one of his abilities, which one hit kills you. He literally does a Shoryuken and pops the head right off. Hey man, Shorty might be short, but he's deadly. And the last thing we got are these pink lasers that's in the sky. Not too sure what this is, but my guess is that it has something to do with these generators. So maybe the humans have to turn off these generators and then one laser will go down. And and that might be a way to win for the humans by destroying the spaceship. Or these lasers could mean is that if they get enough of the cocoon pods, it'll activate this big, huge pink explosion. And that might be a way for the clowns to win. Not too sure on that. But guys, that's the trailer breakdown for you. If you're excited for Killer Clowns, the game, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Ring that bell icon so notified every time we upload a brand new video. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. So